Following the benefits of developing entrepreneurship based on new technologies, Poland initiates a number of activities supporting startups. Investments in human resources, research potential and development, acceleration programs, availability of highly specialized workers, and the growing market of VC funds. All of these makes Poland a good place for the development of young technological companies. Poland Prize is an element of the Start in Poland program. It is aimed at creating beneficial conditions for startup development in Poland, from the stage of incubation to development to international expansion. What can startups expect in Poland? A soft landing, fast-track visa process, and assistance of a concierge in administrative matters. Grants of up to 200,000 PLN, specialized technology consulting, mentoring, as well as networking and post-acceleration. The Polish Agency for Enterprise Development selected operators tasked with scouting promising foreign startups and encouraging them to come to Poland. The operators' activities cover every continent as well as the most prospective sectors of the economy. Huge Thing is an amazing place to work during acceleration in Google for Startups Warsaw and provides a chance to cooperate with one of our key partners, Santander Bank Polska, Procter & Gamble and Speed Up Venture Capital Group. Blue Dot Solutions concentrates on supporting young companies developing technology solutions with a particular focus on downstream space technologies. For the last seven years, Startup Hub Poland has attracted talent from abroad to Poland, including BioMicroGel, a startup which created an innovative gel from microparticles, which is able to clean water and remove all contaminants. Startup Gdansk provides space, knowledge and networking. It increases the chances of startup success by inspiring unorthodox thinking and creativity. The Cargo 5 startup has created a platform for the international logistics industry. Thanks to a unique algorithm, it combines price, carrier availability and scheduling information delivered by shipping lines, while at the same time ensuring comprehensive logistics of freight transport. As the global operator of some of the most innovative startups, Brink runs a leading acceleration program for the IoT sector worldwide. The Hava startup uses modern technology to help people addicted to nicotine fight their addiction. Kozia is revolutionizing the world of skincare products using pressure-based technology to break active ingredients of cosmetics into microparticles. This is where the Ether Biomedical startup has created a functional and easy-to-use bionic limb Zeus, which can change lives and capabilities of upper limb amputees. If you're a foreign startup and are eager to thrive in Poland, you can take advantage of all the benefits that are offered by Poland Prize. On 25th of October. Really? Because it's going to be a demo day for one of the acceleration programs for us. Okay, okay. And uh, eight startups who are international actually startups who, uh, who are on our acceleration. Um, okay. They will present themselves in front of investors and all of, all of the startup community here in Poland. Okay. So it's going to be kind of a quite good event, big event, and then in December we plan even bigger uh, bigger event when where we actually present our achievement from the last year um, because it's going to be a finish like the final step for, for one of the program where we actually have international startups here in Poland. Okay, okay. And they will we will kind of summarize how it happened, like what was uh, going on over this okay. year, what was their experience actually. That's what I'm working right now as a marketing manager, is kind of you know, gathering the story of startups who we, okay. that we have right now and their experience of doing a business in Poland, like how do they feel about it and. How okay. It's, how, okay. How okay. it's working for them, so, okay. so it's going to be on December, so you can like you just follow our website, okay. um, or social media. Kind of. Yeah, Facebook, yeah. Facebook, Facebook is the place yeah. where I actually promote all the yeah, events that events, we have, okay. and on December it's going to be, I believe, it's going to be on 16th of December, and yeah, right now it's going to be on 25th of October when when we will have like a smaller one, and then on, in, okay. in December it's going to be a bigger one. Okay. Event. So if you want to learn a little bit more about the startup community in Poland, yeah. That's okay. a good place to go. <laughs> okay, yeah, for sure. That's a good place to be. If, for sure, yeah, for that's, sure. That's, that's how we, we will organize it. And yeah, then it's going to be um, also for us time for summarizing, yeah, okay. um, taking feedback from international, okay, okay. how it was for them in Poland. Um, okay. Yeah, because we right now already know that 
for example, in you know, setting up a bank, open up a bank account. account. It's it's sometimes a little bit not so easy. easy for them. With them. Okay. Especially if you don't know Polish, um, because you know some people based on they don't they still don't speak Polish and yeah. English. So so we know what to improve in order to make it more and more open. More open yeah. yeah. Wow, well, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, we learn. <laughs> you sound very well. Yeah. But we are mm. still like. In this growing phase, yeah. you know, it's like we are still learning how to do it, um, yeah. and, and I guess we will still will always learn, <laughs> like, yeah. because you know, startups uh, or the whole economy is growing and, and it's changing, and uh, yeah, right now we are learning how to do it. But then I believe we will like um, make it improve it somehow, right? And, okay. And, yeah, get to get this market more more mature, and yeah, ideas. More, more okay. innovative, I would say. I hope okay. so. Yeah, a lot of information. I mean, I'm so excited about um, startup because I know uh, how, what it, what it means to be a startup mm -hmm. and the, all the pain, all the you know stress you have to go through, the bureaucracy, everything. And I think it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Yeah. First of all, and every time you start something new, it's, yeah. it's difficult. It's difficult. Yeah. Beginning, right? yeah. So I like I was like I said I was struggling. I was in the US for one year. And for me, the very beginning of you know first three months was like horrible because I didn't know how everything works there, so um, so I had to adjust to it. And then the time it was better and better. So so I guess that it's the same for startups. Okay. Start, like yeah. everything is so new and you don't know how to do it. Yeah. Like, you know, voices. <laughs> yeah. 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 And so, so you had to learn it. But yeah. then when when you operate for a while already on the market, then then it's getting easier and easier. But yeah, the most important for startups is to have a technology or have this ability to sell. Yeah, yeah right. Because yeah. what I know really in Poland is the hardest part is this sales process. Yeah. Because we have great technology, but sometimes we don't have the selling skills yeah. to convince actually investors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> From outside of our like yeah, yeah. environment, that oh yeah, this is something worth doing, worth investing, and worth yeah, focusing yeah, on. So, yeah. so, so. It was really nice to have you in this show. I'm grateful to get to talk more about this. Uh, you know, yeah, well, um, that's that's our talk actually. Like, I mean, yeah. I've been traveling uh, a lot, like you know, outside of Poland, and now I'm very happy to be in Poland again. Yeah. And I'm very happy that I can contribute my experience from yeah. abroad to yeah. Polish people. And I know that sometimes interacting with internationals yeah. is the best way yeah. to, to learn this yeah. other perspective. Yeah, that's perspective. So, yeah. so I, I value a lot uh, international and collaboration. Yeah. And, and yes, and what we okay. are doing here is to facilitate others from, from outside the world to, to join our mind. Okay. Viewers, we have come to the end of the show for today. And if say you want to come to Poland or you want to learn more about Polish startup ecosystem, establishing a business here in Poland, Margot Zata is the right person to get in touch with and yeah, she will help you, you know, go through most of the processes, um, you know, of establishing your business here exactly. in, in Poland. And if say, you, want to, you just want to learn more about um, how business is being done in Poland, she can also help you guys with that. Yeah. Do you have any last, last word you want to say? <laughs> Last thing that I want to say, well, come to Poland. <laughs> come to Poland, <laughs> yeah. Poland, just to try our beautiful kitchen yeah. and see our great city that we have right now. Yeah. And probably after that visit, yeah. we will fall in love with Poland. Yeah, we will, for sure. Um, <laughs> I'm already in love in Poland. I, I love the food. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So yeah. If you fall in love in Poland, yeah. can, with Poland, then you can come yeah. to your business. Here. Yeah. That's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being part of the show. Much. Yeah. Thank you and I appreciate that you wanted to come here to yeah. because in Astoria, one of the co-working offices yeah. here in uh, here in Warsaw. I uh, I hope to come back soon. Sure. To you know sure. maybe see how things happen here. Feel invited. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah.